Bir Shus the Marad Asra, Rabbi Axelrod. Thank you everybody for coming. Thank you to the many, many Rabbonim who are here. We are at war. We are not only in war, at war in Israel, we are at war here in this room as we storm the Shari Shamaim. We just storm the Shari Shamaim for those of our brothers and sisters. And we all know them, we all know the names, and we're all thinking of them. We don't know how long this war is going to last. And because of that, we're not doing one event and we're not doing one show. This is a marathon. This is not a sprint. Every night, we're going to report to duty at 8 o'clock. This community as a whole is going to come together every single night in different shuls. Tonight in Young Israel of Woodmere, tomorrow Young Israel of Lawrence Cedars. Every, every night there's going to be a different shul coming together. It's only half an hour every evening. Mariv, Divrei Chizuk, and Tehillim as we come together because we continue to fight and we'll continue to fight. We'll continue to storm the Shari Shomayim every night. I encourage everybody to come bring their families. It's not a one-night event. We're going to carry on fighting with Achei Nukol Beis Yisrael. It is our great privilege to welcome Rav Moshe Weinberg of the Morda Asra of Esh Kodesh for the Dibre Chizuk. Shus Yedid Navshi, the Murdarsra, Mechoshe Rabbonim, Rebbesons, Achai, Rayai, brothers and sisters. Gracious of all the Kims of Shemayim Vesaras. We were so excited a few weeks ago to bring in Tavshin Pedal this new year filled with hopes, and dreams, feelers for a beautiful year. And it's hard to believe that such a short time later, we're in a place of a horus hoysa so vavo, v'choshech al pnei sahayim. That our lives feel right now astonishingly empty. With darkness upon the surface of the deep. Each and every one of us experiencing that in our own way. Our children, our relatives, and our brothers and sisters everywhere in the world, especially in Israel. There's a, a poet by the name of, her pen name is Ruth Lewis. She passed away a few years ago. I never met her, but very often in the shul I share some of her poetry. She was a Balashuva that ended in Meir Sharim, originally from Baltimore. And I found in this poem Words that I couldn't find within myself. It's called pomegranate seeds. Rosh Hashanah, we all had the simonim. And the sweetest of all the simonim, of course, is the, is the rimo. Just as each and every one of us is filled with so many good things. So she wrote this poem after a year of many bus bombings. Pomegranate seeds, bright ruby jewels. Juice, sweet, sticky on small, smiling faces. Trickling deliciously down tiny chins. Stubborn, staining small white shirts, small white festive dresses. Pomegranate seeds that symbolize our merits. We are jam-packed with merits. We burst with only merits, each and all. As pomegranates burst, their shells explode with only seeds, with sweet, bright, ruby seeds. Pomegranate seeds, new fruit of a new season, in which to bless the one who has kept us in life, who has sustained us to reach this day. 
But why do I see blood? See bright blood spilling, splashing, splattering. Shadows of blood darkening, small shirts, dresses, tiny faces, bodies. Red blood staining, trickling, gushing, flooding city streets. Why do I hear screams, shrieks, sirens wailing? In your blood shall you live, in your blood shall you live. The chauffeur blast ascends, hear now its wail, our wail. But call the one whose blood upon that altar poured unshed. Gather our blood, count our tears. Safe keep them each and all within your book. Ended the year with all its curses, dawns a new year with all its blessings. A year of life, peace, many merits. A year, the year of our complete redemption. A year that's bursting, bright, abundant, overflowing, joyous, sweet, as jewel red, ruby, pomegranate seeds. Tonight is the yard site of a great tzaddik, the Rebbe Rabbi Levi Yitzchak from Badish of Sluskeleinu, the defender, the advocate of the Jewish people. And that Pesach embraces Baralukim, that describes the horrible emptiness and darkness at the beginning of how we feel right now. The Rebbe Rabbi Levi Yitzchak read the Pesach in the following way, the second part. The Pesach continues. After Varus, Haisa Sova, Ova, Haisha Halpnei Sahain. Goes on, Vayer Malakim, He or Vayhe or. So the Badichva used to say the Pasik this way. Vayomer, a Jew has to say, not just to say, a Jew has to scream out, Vayomer, Elo Kim, Rabban Shalom, He or. We can't go on with this darkness. I've been trying to stay away from the images, from seeing anything. I saw a little bit today, family that was shafted, a girl and her grandmother, a Holocaust survivor taken away as hostage. We've all heard about, we've all seen some of these images that we're never going to forget. And the Baditra said that a Jew has to scream out that when it's tohu, vo, and chayshech, we have to scream out, vayemer, to yell, rabban shalom yihiyar. We're begging you for light. We don't know a way to see any light in this matzah that we're in. And only bo'ar chenira ar. And the Shem promised, the Rebbe said at the beginning of time, when he hears Jews crying and begging for light, Bayer Malakim, Yehi ar. And as the, and as we just heard, as Rabbi Trump just said, that if we storm the heavens and we scream and we beg, we'll be zaychet to hear the words, Vayhi Or. But I know that what we're feeling most, more than the misery, more than the memories, especially those here who are children or grandchildren of survivors, and all of us who have seen and heard and read, Images that have not been since that time of the Holocaust. Numbers of Jews that were killed, I'm not talking about in a military operation, but the number of Jews killed in one day that has not been since my grandparents were killed. And there's a terrible feeling of helplessness. We want to do something. There's some boys, some chevres, some girls, I don't know, but we know they're the Hever that, that went immediately there. But those of us here, we don't know what to do. But Moshe Rabbeinu left the world, and he was able to extract from Hashem Kivyochel two good things. Shema Hashem call Yehuda. The Sadiqim say, Shema Hashem call Yehuda. The call Yehuda is Tehillim. Moshe Rabbeinu, before he left the world, said, Rabbi Shalom, I'm leaving. There are going to be hard times coming up. I know it. You already told me there are going to be hard times. So I'm begging you. There's going to be a person coming forth from Yehuda, Dabin Amalekh. 
and he's going to leave our people with Sefer Tehillim. So, Bershma, I'm begging you, Shema Hashem, call Yehuda. Listen to the voice of Yehuda. Listen to Jews wherever they are in the world who are brokenhearted who are crying out with the words of David Malkim Mashiach, with words of Tehillim. Fel and bring all of your children home. Bring all the boys, bring all the girls who are out there, bring every single Jew who's out there in Gaza, in the north, wherever they are. Well, Amoy Tivienu, that without Tehillim, we could bring the boys and girls home. Well, Amoy Tivienu, Yodr Vravloi, Ve'ezi Mitzar of Tiyya. Moshim extracted this from Hashem Ezbar. Yodr Vravloi, that we'll be victorious. And Ezi Mitzar of Tiyya and Hashem Ezbar will help us. That's the first promise. The second promise, So Moshe Benes said, "Kidom avod of Yikoyim." Benok in Yoshiv l'tzarev, the keep ad Mosei Amai. He will avenge the blood of his servants and wreak vengeance on his enemies, and he will cleanse the land. The time of reckoning is going to be coming, and Hashem is going to clean Eretz Yisrael. Many of our children, our brothers and sisters, are going to be in great danger. But the time has come for Hashem to clean Eretz Yisrael. The land will be clean. It will be cleansed of the filth of our enemies. And Hashem will avenge Every single drop of blood. As Chazal have told us, as a Befeish and Zara Kaddish, listen carefully and I'll end. Uchedein perpira lovish, Hashem Ezbarach has a certain coat. And Hashem puts this on, with Taman Chakik in the Rishim and Kalin in the Katarli, the Shar Amen. And what does Hashem have on that coat? What's the design of that coat? The Zara Kaddish says, Rabbi Shimon said, that on that coat, Chakik in the on Hashem's coat is engraved, Kol Inen Katarli, the name of every single Jew throughout history who was ever killed for being a Jew. Kuchibrich Uzamal Al Bosha Hut Purpira. And the time will come that Hashem is going to take out that coat. Umameidan Amim, he's going to put on the coat and judge. The murderers. The chsiv, as it says in Tehillim, Yodin bagoyim mole gviyais. He will exact judgment upon the nations, and he will pile up their corpses. So Ben Shalom, it's gracious, and vayyomer we're crying out to you, yehi or elokim yehi or. There was, a, there was a tzaddik, I just told the Chevra about yesterday by Nilas Achag. There was a tzaddik who saw that at the end of Yontiv by Nilas Achag, he saw that everybody was very, very down. It's very hard to go back into the rest of the week, the rest of the year, and the winter, and the darkness, and so on. So the tzaddik reached into the cabinet and shul, and he took out the Hanukkah the Chana, lamp, the Hanukkah candles. And he said, Chevra, let's get ready for Hanukkah. Yontav is over, we're going to get ready and we're going to prepare the menorah to light the Hanukkah candles. We're not going to be discouraged, we're not going to be depressed, we're not going to be broken. I was raised in a home by parents who went through terrible, terrible, horrible things, the things that they saw that we can't imagine. They were never broken, never depressed, we're going to be strong. Chazak, Chazak, we said yesterday in this Chazak, and Yoav said to the army, of the Jewish people of David Melech. Chazak v'nis chazak ba'ad arzeinu u'ba'ad arei elokeinu that this is leading to something bigger than we ever ever dreamt of. All the fulfillment of the words of the Nevi'im are going to, we're going to see with our eyes. Ayin ba'ayin yu b'shuv Hashem siyoyin with the gulash of amitish mehebi yomenu amen.
So we're going to be reciting uh, the Tillam. There are sheets both upstairs and down. If you're having the Yitzhak Yar Siddur, uh, you could also follow along. <laughs> And the first capital that we're going to be doing is capital Gimel. Mizmar le David b'barcho mipnei avshalom b'no. Adoi no imar abutzerai rabim kamim alai. Rabbi. Amrim Linafshi En Yeshua Salo Bo Elohim Sela Beata Doino Imagen Badi Kivodi Umeirim Roshi Adonai Ekra Vayanei Nimei Har Kodcho Sela Vani Shachavti Vaishana Hekitsosi Ki Adonai Yismecheni Masher Sabiv Shasu Allah Umadoi no Yoshieni Elohai Ki Kisa Eskaloi Vailechi Shinei Rishoim Shibarta The next capital is capital Chaf. Lam Natsayach Mizmoy Le David Yan Chaday Noi Biyayim Tzara Yisagev Choshay Melei Yakoi Yishlach Ezrecha Mikoi Desh Umitziyon yisodeko Hizkoi kol min choysecho Voi los choyedash neselo Yiten lecho chilvo vecho Vechol atzos echo yamale Nechane no bishu osecho, v'shem Eloheinu nitgoil, yemalei adoi noi kol mishal oisecho. Ato yodati, ki oishi adoi noi meshichoi, yaneyu mishmei kodshoi, Bigvuro is Yesha Yeminoi. Eile Boreche, Vieile Basusim, Vanachnu, Bishema Doino Yeloyenu Naskim. Hey, Mokoru, Venofalu, 
ואנחנו קמנו ונסעידות אדוינו יושיעו המלך יעננו ויום קוראינו The next Hillim will be Parachof Gimel. Mizmor Ledovid, Adonai Roi Lo Echsor. Vinoz Deshe Yarbitzeini, Almei Minuchos Yenaleini. Nafshi Yishovev, Yanchini V'maglei Tzedek, L'man Shemo. Gam ki eilech b'gei tzalmoves, Lo ira ro ki ato imodi, Shiftecho, Umishantecho, Ey mo yinachamuni. תערוך לפני שולחו נגד צוררוי דישן טוב השם אין ראשי כל סיר רבויו אך טוב החסד ירדפוני כל ימי חיי ושבתי בבי סדונוי לאורך יומי Next capital, Pei Gimel. Shir Mizmar Lasaf. Elohim al Domilach al Techeras vi al Tishkoidel. Thank <laughs> Kino yatsu lev yachtav olecha bris yichroisu Ole adoim v'yishmelem oya v'hagrim Kvo v'amohim v'amolek p'lesha asim yoy shveitzor גם אשור נלווה עמם, היו זרויה לבני לא יצא לה. עשה לו הם כמדיין, כסיסרח יבין ונחל כשיים. נשמדו ואין דייר, היו דוימן לו אדמה. Say my nadi be my kaira be chaze be chaze be chuch samuna kol nesi chay my. Asher amiru nirish alano eis nois elohim. Eloi hai she say my chagal gal ke kash lifne ruach.
The next capital is Kuf Chavalov. Shila Malo Sasaina El Hehari May Ayin Yavo Ezri Ezri May Yim Adonai Ose Shamayim Ba'ores Al yitain la mod raglecha, al yonom shomrecha. He ne lo yonom below yishan shomer yisrael. Adonai Shomrecha, Adonai Tzilcha, Al Yad Yeminecha. Yomam Hashemesh Lo Yakeka, V'yoreach Ba'aloyla. Adonai Yishmarcha Mikal Ra Yishmar Es Nafshecha Adonai Yishmar Tzitzcha Vohecha Me'ata V'yad Olam Next is Kuf Lamid. Shir Amal Ois, Mimamakim Krosicha Adoinoi. Adoinoi, Shimo Bikoili, Tienoz Necho Kashu Vois, Bukol Tachanunoi. Adonai <laughs> Shil Adonai mi shomerim la boker, shomerim la boker. Achel Yisrael el Adonai, ki im Adonai achesed b'harbei imoy fdus. Israel, Nicola, by no The next park will be Park Kuf Membez. Maskil David, be your soul, Vami or Ross, if you love. Adonai Ezok, 
Kolei el Adonai Eschanon Eshpoch lefanov sichi Sorosi lefanov agi Sate for Lai Ruchi, the Atoya Dato Nesivosi, the Orach Zua Haler Tom Nufachli. Habet Yomin Uriev Yenli Makir. Of Admonos be many in the race, Lenav She. So Akti and Lecho Adonai, Omarti Atomarsi, Chalki be a red Sahayim. Hakishivo el rino si ki dalosi mi od hati leni mi rod fai ki om sumi meni. Hotsi yo mi masker nafshi li odos eshimecho pi yachti rut sadikim ki sigmol olos. So we're going to conclude the recital of Achenu, and we have in mind such a difficult list. We have in mind the soldiers who are going and preparing and ongoing fighting on behalf of our brothers and sisters, and also on behalf of all of Klal Yisrael. The mourning families who are grieving and already sitting Shiva, those who are captured and their families who are going through the horrific experience of having their loved ones known with the knowledge that they will be in Gaza. And it is with that also that we think of all the hundreds upon hundreds of people who have been injured in this horrific attack. <laughs>
We want to thank everyone for coming. And I think it's just a testimony to the type of community that we have. When we plan these events, we truly do not know how many would attend. And by all of you coming, it's because all of us have been struggling, especially we were in Yontif, we were in a little bubble. We heard, but we really, because as Man Simchaseinu, we didn't allow ourselves to go there. But when we went there, we were all struggling today and coming together with the words of Tehillim. And it's not just going to be this night. As Rabbi Trump mentioned, it's going to be every night this week. Tomorrow night, it's Young Israel Lawrence Cedars, 8 o'clock Marv. The following night, Wednesday night, is Congregation Beth Shalom. And then Beis Medrash of Cedars on Thursday night, all beginning with 8 o'clock Marv. We are also putting together a communal task force. The Rabbanim were on a call today. There will be representatives from each of the shuls that want to participate. Each shul will also very often be having committees to deal with what can we do. There's a lot of stuff coming out on the WhatsApp. It's not necessarily all organized. We are also going to be launching each of the shuls together as one collective group of the five town shuls, an emergency campaign where people can donate, knowing that the funds will be distributed to very worthy causes, causes that will take priorities. Each of the Rabbanim will be responsible for the particular funds that are raised by their particular kilos. We thank you all for coming. We should only share in Besoros Tobos.